Hi, this is Randy. So, I've made a couple recent videos about um, polyamory and about the media, people being on painkillers. Um, and I'm feeling guilty because, you know, this is, this is what I do. I get worried that, you know, I've said something wrong or offensive to hurt someone and that people may misinterpret. So I do want to clarify. I want to clarify that I am, I don't agree with a lot of ways that people live their lives, but yet they didn't ask me how to live their life and um, so it's none of my business and I am not judging them the way that they live their life but I also do have a right to disagree with it to not do it myself I have the right to live the life that I want to live the way I want to live it and I um, have a right to express my opinions and my preferences. So let me clarify the problems that I have with the way people live their lives is not that they choose to live their lives in certain ways, but it's the secrets, it's the way they cover up how they are living their life that bothers me. It is the mask and the masks that are worn by so many people, which will remind you of how the narcissist wears his or her mask. And it's the secrets of society that are damaging because we work off of certain information. We can only go by the information that we have. And when we're misled about a person, whether they be a narcissist or something else, we are put in an unfair position where we cannot respond accordingly because we don't have all the information. So that is what I object to. So if you subscribe to the philosophy of polyamory, then be upfront about that. Let people know that's what you do. If there's nothing wrong with it, because all these people c claim there's nothing wrong with their behavior, it's normal. So if truly there's nothing wrong with it and it's normal, then own up to it. That's all I'm saying. If you're polyamorous, just uh, let me know if I meet you. Let me know that's how you live your life so that I can make a decision based on that to decide to continue to associate with you or be friends with you or date you or not. Give me all the information. Give me the important stuff. Um, so here's the important stuff, and I'm sure there's a much longer list, but the things I can think of that I would need to know really up front in order to make a decision about whether I want to remain friends or have contact with you. I would like to know if you're polyamorous. I need to know if you are bisexual. I really need to know that because um, I don't appreciate closeted bisexuals and closeted homosexuals or lesbians. I do appreciate and I'm fine when they have come out of the closet and they don't keep their sexuality a secret because the way it is is that most people assume that people are heterosexual so we go around assuming that but if you're going to be my friend or I'm going to date you I do need to know I need to know if you're a bisexual a homosexual or a lesbian and then let me decide from there whether I want to continue the relationship or how I want to continue a relationship with you if you're a sugar baby 
and you have a uh, a sugar daddy. I I would like to know about that. I think it's important. I would also like to know if you're a sugar daddy and you have a sugar baby. Um, I think that's important information for me to know about a person when I interact with them, if I'm going to be friends with them. I would like to know if you're a transsexual or if you're tra transgendered. Um, if you're a male who dresses up in women's clothing, um, I would like you to let me know that so I can make decisions from there on whether I want to continue to associate with you or not. It's only fair, okay? If you're um, a drug addict, I need to know. I mean, there's, it's not necessarily that I'm going to not associate you. But it's just the information that I need to know. I need to know if people are um, prescription drug addicts. I also need to know if you're if you're a deadbeat dad or if you were a deadbeat dad or a deadbeat mom, meaning you were ordered to pay child support for your kids and you you didn't pay it. That's important information that I need to know about you so I can assess whether or not I want to continue to remain um, friends with you or have contact with you or date you. I would like to know if you're MGTOW, if you're a man going your own way, and I happen to come across you um, in person, I think you should uh, let me know that. Um, and since you're proud of it, there should be no problem in you telling me that you're a man going your own way. Um, if you are a prostitute, meaning you um, sell your body, a man or a woman, if you sell your body to strangers for money, or if you trade services such as, you know, you get free rent if you go ahead and um, allow the person to use your body for a certain amount of time or frequency to exchange goods and services. Um, please let me know because uh, I think that's important information to know about a person if I'm gonna remain you know having contact with you I can make certain decisions. Um, I need to know if you're uh, addicted to pornography or if you're a sex addict. So, um, please, please let me know that um, so I can interact with you appropriately. Make sure that I'm minding my P's and Q's and, you know, so that I can actually see who I'm dealing with. Um, and if, I, if I'm dating you or if, I'm, if you're a potential date or a man who's... Um, seeking me out and it's only for sex so in other words you only want sex you're not interested in companionship or partnership or social activities or you know just watching TV going for walks emotional uh, connection and uh, intimate uh, interesting conversations and then don't portray like you are just let me know up front that's all you want and let me make my own decision about what I how, what I want to do from there this is only fair this is a, what it means to be authentic and so any new relationships that I that I um, get into whether it be male female or friendship romance um, these are the things that I uh, need to know up front, and I think it's just only fair as uh, secrets are now coming out. And if all these things are normal and fine and there's nothing wrong with any of them, then you should have no problem um, being up front about it when you meet new people or when you date new people. Okay, thank you and have a good day.